Class is in session. The professor is in. What's happening, y'all? Somebody call the manager. We got a prize wall video to do. Big shout out, Jay Nasty Booty. Thanks for always the help, bro. Uh, and number two on this, please remember that this is all about your roster. So always take and do what's best for your roster in the now <laughs> before the future. What's going to make you better for next week. And beyond that, there are medallions in the, uh, in the, where is it? Here we go. In the actual, oh, I'm moving things that I don't need to move. There are in these wonderful milestones for your faction. So please don't spend or whatever, do it, do what you want. My advice is not to spend them before the end of the actual event. So we got a 1A and a 1B on this prize wall, um, and they're actually sitting beside each other right here. So you can choose which one you want to get first or second. Pink ain't going to help us. We actually need to change our color so we can see it this time around. There's one, and there is also one right there. You know what? Red isn't doing it either. Let's pick green when we talk tricksters. That's better. All right. So 1A, 1B is going to be uh, to Chelsea's entitlement. Her plate itself makes her amazing um, and over the top. So it's great to have for her. Uh, we're still checking it out with other trap gem superstars. And it doesn't seem to make anyone amazing yet. But as the game moves back into a move damage meta, which is where it looks like we're heading um, in the shorter, probably sooner than later, um, this will actually be a good skill plate for later on. So that's one thing to consider. And I always tell you, if you've watched enough of these videos, um, that you take uh, gears and plates sort of number one on there, unless it means getting a new poster. So if you are actually able to recruit Chelsea Green, then I would suggest doing it now. So if your choice is between taking the plate or taking Chelsea Green, uh, the answer is taking Chelsea Green. Uh, but if you have Chelsea Green and then you have enough uh, to get the plate, the plate is where I would spend next on uh, this prize wall. If you haven't seen it, please do check out my video of Chelsea Green and I shall link it up there, hopefully, for you to go check it out and see. The next thing that you're going to get is into the more prize wall thing. You're actually going to try to go after some of these plates here sitting at the top. The number one to get is one like the Piper's Power Plate. So anybody who's dealing in uh, pyro uh, gems um, is going to be amazing. So think Bill Rieger or William Regal for those that don't watch me enough. So Bill, Bill Rieger is one that does a lot of damage with him. Hall of Fame Triple H. Piper Niven herself. Um, anybody who does that and also gets some yellow gem damage um, is going to be amazing with that plate. You can also go for the Pyro Princess, the flaming glove right here, because this also works on, or it does work specifically on multiply gems that turn into blue afterwards. So anybody, uh, and sorry, multiply gems that will create extra blue gem damage afterwards. So this works great on Acro Bianca. It works great on D'Lo Brown. It works great on a lot of people who do that. Uh, it also works on uh, Shawn Michaels. So if you have DX Shawn Michaels, there's also somebody else that this is a gem that can, uh, or sorry, there's a plate that can work on. After that, the Hitman's Battle Armor is a negative MP whenever you make botch gems. So think of it as something like, um, it's more like the Ultimate Plates, the JD Plate, and the Veer Plate, except this one is a basic plate. It goes on the top plate. Uh, and last but not least, the baddest jacket. So this is also going to work for anybody um, making black gems or yellow gem damage after a submission. All four of these are good plates. All of them have multiple uses. So that would be something I would think about getting next uh, on this list. After that, uh, we're looking at shards. So this is a way to get closer or to recruit Dusty, Cora, or Farouk. All of them excellent. All of them worthy of six star silver so there's somewhere else you could uh, spend your resources on after that point you're looking at straps would probably be your best bet i am always wary of picking up a strap that has so many variables because you never really know what you're going to get as you can see it has just as much of a chance to be a 25 percent health boost and none as it does to be something that you might actually use.
But if you're looking for a female modern strap, that's one place to spend it. You can also try to get uh, legendary straps, but I'd never really recommend getting legendary, not in a world with two different types of plates. After those straps, and I don't think there's any other straps up here, are there? there is. This is the strap you should go for before that last strap. So if you have Chelsea Green and you don't think her plate is going to be good enough and you have enough uh, points to go get a Chelsea Green strap, this is one that you can get because, unfortunately, it's all gem damage, even though she's moved damage based, at least in my opinion. Uh, getting her as a bleed immunity would also help, uh, or a stun immunity. So you can get yourself a Chelsea Green ultimate strap. But in all honesty, if you've watched either of my Chelsea Green videos, you know that she actually doesn't need um, an ultimate strap because there's really no plates that I found were exceptionally needed for her. But if you want to spend it on a strap, go nuts. Last but not least is getting your econ on. Shout out to Goldie. Uh, get yourself whatever different, whether it's um, coins, whether it's getting a large group of tokens, whatever it is that you need, go for. As always, I recommend against these fragment cases because the RNG or the random number generator means you have a very likely chance of just getting 20 of any of these. And that's really not enough, especially when they sell them in the showdown shop almost on the daily. So there's really no point in getting that. I always recommend getting strap parts or getting coins or tokens, things that you need again right away moving on up. The only thing I didn't uh, mention was the only thing that I think is an absolute waste on here, which is Chelsea Green at uh, at five star. It says five star there, but I think it's when she's six star. Yeah, so it's a six star version of Chelsea Green. I don't think that's worth spending all of that on because you, in reality, for less of that price, you could get Chelsea Green and a strap or Chelsea Green and the plate, which is probably the better way to spend your medallions anyways. All right, y'all. That is the Chelsea Green. Call the manager prize wall. Thanks for coming on into class today. Let me know in the comments what you take. Give it the old like, the share, the subscribe. And as always, Professor, thanks you. And Professor out.